Hello everyone, how are you doing today? I'm back with another uh, video here and in today's video we have an Acer Aspire V7 series laptop. The model for this one is called ZQK, K, ZQK and the exact model for this one you can find the exact specification on the bottom label on the bottom of the laptop. It will tell you the model series is a V7 series, the model number ZQK or K and the model in here it says V7-481-6682 and in this video I'm going to show you guys how to speed up the laptop, how, how you can remove the mechanical hard drive that it has in here and upgrade and what are the options that you have and the recommendations. There is a two types of hard drives in here when you purchase they do give you a mechanical hard drive and they do have a solid state drive in there M.2 uh, M SATA M.2 I would and we're gonna open it up and I'm gonna show you guys what you can do what configuration you would like to have in there or which one is suited for you so they do have a really good CPU but the bottleneck for these ones are the mechanical hard drive the hard drive that you can put in here is are the mechanical drive obviously or solid state drive I'll leave one of the good brands in the video link Adata or Adata or Kingston, those are like a really low grade SSDs, but in this case a client brought me an Adata because it was cheap. Or you can go with an MSATA one, which I should have, it's, it's going to be right inside the box. The MSATA drive, I'm going to show it to you guys in a bit. I have one example right here. So you can either get an MSATA SSD or a mechanical hard drive. The mechanical hard drives are the same thing as uh, the solid state drive. These are the mechanical ones. So we're going to open it up and we're going to see what, what is the best configuration that you can have in here. First thing first, you want to power off the laptop completely. You want to flip it upside down and on the bottom cover, you're going to see a whole bunch of screws. And we're going to grab ourselves uh, tools that we're going to be using. All these tools are in my video link, video description, the links. I'm going to be using an iFixit screwdriver set as they have one of the best screwdrivers out there. These are S2 class steel. And we're going to be using a Phillips number one. Let me double check. Phillips number one. And for the opening tool, we're going to be using a guitar pick. But if you want to get the pro version of the iFixit tool set, they do give you a prime tool, tweezers, and a few other stuff. But for me, for this video, I'm going to use a guitar pick, a metallic one. All right, so let's go ahead and we're gonna start removing all the screws from one corner. Remember all the screws are the same size and height, so don't worry about mismatching them. Remove all and the two in the middle too, don't forget about those. I'm just gonna fast forward this part. Also, if you guys like my videos, if my video helping you guys out to do your own upgrade service and you wanna support the channel, you can do it by clicking that like and subscribe to the channel. I'll greatly appreciate it. As always, I try to answer all the questions that you guys leave in a video comment. And it would be a great support if you guys could subscribe and click that like button. I use a little magnet to pull the screws out. Alright, once we remove all the screws, we're going to grab our opening tool. This time is a guitar pick. And we are going to stick it between the bottom and the top cover, just like, the, just like that. I don't know if you guys can see it, about one or two millimeters inward. And we're just going to twist it around all the way in the front side. Go to the side and this cover is already coming up. So you want to do it all around on the back on the side. And the cover should come up with a little bit of wiggling and it will come up. So this is the bottom chassis, bottom cover. We're going to leave this to one side. Alright, down here we're going to see right away the batteries. There's one, two batteries in there, three, four, four cell batteries. That's actually good. They usually come with a three. This one has a four cell batteries. And there's a hard drive right here. And there's another SSD drive right here. This is an M.2M SATA drive. You cannot put an, another. This is not a PCI Express. So first let's go by removing the mechanical drive. If you want to remove your mechanical drive, there's no screw. Just lift up the hard drive from one side upward. Bring it gently and pull the connector back. With your finger, just pull it evenly back. So there's your mechanical drive. You do not need to remove it from the board. So you can either pull this flip thing upward towards the ceiling, and it will get disconnected, and just a push down, 
or simply just leave it there and just pull the connector out. Okay, you do not need to remove the battery to do this process, it's like absolutely not necessary, but if you do want to remove the battery, you can pull this jack backward towards this side, towards the left side if depending, towards the fan side, and pull it evenly and the connector will come out. Then you want to put it back down in, pull it evenly straight inward, and just push it in, that's it. But to do upgrades, you do not need to remove the battery, that's absolutely not necessary. So we remove the mechanical drive right there. To remove the M.2 SSD M SATA, there's one screw, remove that one tiny screw on top. Okay. Now this, uh, once you remove it, the hard drive, the SSD will come out in 45 degree angle. All you need to do is pull it out in the same direction backward. So, and you can get up to 256, 500 gig or one terabyte of the M SATA one in here too. So these are my recommendation for this one would be to grab a two terabyte or four terabyte slim hard drive. It has to be a slim profile. Any, any SSD will do, but these are already low profile. Or you can grab a mechanical hard drive because these are really secure for a file saving. So I will recommend you guys grab a two terabyte uh, low profile uh, hard drive mechanical one, put it in here, or grab a solid state just copy, make sure the orientation for the SATA is in the same orientation in here. Push it in there and squeeze it in place right there. So you can do either hot, uh, SSDs or you can put a mechanical drive there. But my recommendation would have been uh, put a big capacity mechanical drive for your games, for your uh, files. we more secure in there. And replace the 24 gig that it comes in here with a solid M SATA with a 500 gig or one terabyte SSD. And to pull it in, make sure the notch on the SSD matches the notch on the jack. Bring it down in 45 all the way there and push it towards the motherboard and put the single screw right on top. Just like that, okay? Or you, another option would be put an SSD here and put another two terabyte or four terabyte SSD in here. So you have both side SSD, both working fine with a high speed. But my preference would be a mechanical drive. Now, when you install the Windows, remember once you do the upgrade, you will not have any Windows in this hard drive. I made a video how to create your Windows 10 or Windows 11 USB boot drive. Yeah, follow that link in my video description. Once you create your Windows 10 USB boot drive, I made a video how to install it on your Acer laptop. And I would recommend you install the operating system on your M.2 SSD and Leave the other one as a storage. Do not use this as a storage. Use the other one, the bigger one, because they have a better wear and tear uh, for the files. All right, once you did the, all the upgrades that you need, all you need to do is to grab the bottom cover, bring it over. Let's put everything to one side. So all you need to do is to push down the cover, the side down, squeeze it down. You might hear one or two click. That's all you want to hear. Once you finish with that, all you need to do is to just put the bottom screws, doesn't matter which order you start from. I will go around and the two one in the middle. And that should be all. That's how you upgrade your hard drive for your Acer Aspire V7 series. Again, remember there's no operating system. If you want to know how much, how you can install the operating system, follow the link on my video description. If you have any question or request, feel free to leave them in a video comment. I'll try to answer them as soon as I can. As always, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in my next video. I'm gonna power on so you guys can see that it powers on because people keep saying that you, why don't you turn on? So I'm just gonna power on, go to the BIOS so you guys can see it, and then I'll finish screwing it down. All right, so let's go ahead, put it in this position. The power button is to one side, powering up, tap F2, and there we have the BIOS right there. Okay? So you see, you don't need to remove the battery.